Hi, welcome to Gen Cam Plays Board Games. I'm Gen Cam, and today I am going to be playing Wild Child West. So I have a set up for the solo game. Um, the important parts are making sure that you have the side of the board with the cactuses, cacti. Um, you will remove a tile from every spot so that's 40 different spots you're also going to have the bandit ridge card and the ai deck the rules are pretty simple so i'm just going to kind of explain things as we go along hopefully you get a feel for the game make sure you do have your klingon subtitles turned on just in case i make any rules mistakes i'm super excited to play this game i know that it was the game of the year for maybe I won't completely spoil it, but it was one of the game of the year choices on OFPG Voices for 2023. Make sure you check out that video to see what my favorite game was. That video is part of the other places you can find me playlist that will be at the end of this video. Make sure you check that out. And with that, let's get started. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to roll to see where we are placing our dice. And we have 17, 11, and one. So when you are drafting tiles, if they are in the green space, you have to take the one to the right or left of it, you can't skip. In order to skip, they have to be on a blue and you have to pay one gold. We are starting off with two gold as indicated by our income track. And I just have those off to the side right now. So I think I'm actually gonna start with the wheel right. If I can get the, ah, if I can get it out. Okay, so with this one, you have two options where when you place it, either you can take two alley tiles immediately, which are one by ones to kind of fill things in, or if you do it on this side, Whenever you would gain one, you gain two instead. Since this is the beginning of the game, I think we're actually gonna do that. And we do have to uh, start with placing over the X. So I think I'm gonna place just like that so I can get an extra gold. And that is the end of our first turn. So we are going to move our marker right over here. And this indicates that we are going to draw a, a card for the AI. And their first card, oh my goodness. They are going to wrangle five cows. And they also drew two bandits. We'll cover bandits in a little bit. But the five card, the five cows, what that means is they are going to be first to get one of these bonuses. They are going to take, basically just not take, but block off the bonus for wrangling to our five cows, which is two gold. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take this cow poke boot thing, and it's gonna go right here. And now this is going to flip over. So now if I wrangle five cows, which when I have cows, I will explain that, I will now only get one gold instead. Okay, so now we can roll. And we have eight and seven, so there's eight and seven, and where is five? Five is way up here. Well, I should also say, we have a partner card, and we have the businesswoman, building tiles that are four or more squares. So the lar more large ones we have, it's gonna be the better for us, because we're gonna wanna have six plus, if we have six plus buildings that are four or larger, we will get 22 points at the end. I think I'm gonna pay one gold to take the barn, so that way when we wrangle um, cows in the future, assuming we get any, <laughs> we will be able to get a gold for each time we wrangle. And I'm gonna place this up here because we do have to place orthogonally adjacent to um, another tile that we've already placed. But this is gonna get us closer to the pickaxe, which is gonna help us get more income on in our income phase and also to this bullet. So we are gonna need sheriffs and bullets to shoot bandits and we can move on to our next round let's grab our dice and we have two for our blue and three and eleven 
for our green. So let's place three there. And we are back at 11. So I'm gonna take this tile here. I know we want larger ones, but this one has a sheriff and a bullet. So I'm thinking if we place it here, or actually maybe right here, we'll get two bullets. And then if we have any of uh, any band place any bandits this way in this row, we'll be able to shoot them. We cannot shoot through our cows, but more importantly, we can also get any that are going down this way. So that is gonna earn us two bullets. I'm gonna place them off to the side here next to our gold. Now, if we had any bandits we could shoot, we would have to shoot them right away. But since we don't, we're just gonna hold on to those. We are going to move our marker and draw another card. And they get two bullets. So they are going to shoot two bandits right away. And now I'm just gonna hide this underneath so we kind of can save space. And let's roll for our next drafting phase. And we have a six, which will go up here. We have four for over here. There's some cows and the five. Ooh, more cows, but that is a four tile. So I think we're gonna take this one. That's gonna cost us one gold. And I'm gonna place it right here. So it's not in line of sight for our sheriff right now, but now we do have three cows in that pasture. And we now have the two to three buildings, so eight points for our businesswoman. And we have one more turn before the tussle. So let's grab our dice and see what we get. We have 50 which goes down here. We have five again. Ooh, and that can give us a town hall. Town hall. And 14. Ooh, which is another sheriff. You know what? I made a horrible mistake. When I put the sheriff here, he can't shoot through buildings. So nothing down here is actually going to be in his view. It's only going to be here. So that was, that was a really bad idea. That was bad. Oh, I would love to take the town hall, but that costs two gold. So I think we're going to take this one here. Oh, that costs a gold too. Oh goodness. Uh, I don't know if I want to spend my last gold. I mean, we do get more gold. So we're definitely going to take this one. The question is, is where are we going to put it? I think the answer to that is we're going to place it here. No, because then it still lines up there. Yeah, we're going to place it here. I know then he can't shoot this way, but we are going to cover up this uh, pickaxe which will move our income up. But you know what? It's not enough to get us to the next fate, like next year. Maybe we place it here instead. All right, all right, no, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this and I will tell you why in a moment because we are going to our tussle next. And when we do a tussle, we're gonna see who has the most bandits on the board. And both of us right now have one. So how it works is if we were playing a multiplayer game, whoever has the most gets the bonus here plus a hill bandit. Whoever has the least loses two points, which is why you start the game at five because you can lose points. So since we are tied, he's going to, our, our bandit Ridge is going to take a, another hill bandit and we're going to take one as well. And I'm going to place it right here because it is in line of sight through the pasture. We're good there and it is automatically, we're gonna shoot it right now. So that way we don't have to worry about it later. And we do get our two points for that. And since these this card is no longer needed, well actually we'll just keep it here for right now. But we can cover this up as soon as we draw another one, which is gonna be right now. So let's see what their next card is. Two cows. So there's nothing to wrangle. And we can go into our drafting phase by rolling our dice. And we have six again. Oops, sorry. No, that is nine. So nine. And we have 12, which is right here. And seven. Oh. Ooh. That's two bandits. But you get a gold and an ace. And that is going to help with end game scoring. We also are now in an income phase. We're going to take our two gold. I wish I could place this in line with the two. 
If I could place here, it would work, but I can't. Or can I? Wait a minute. If I took this one, <gasps> look at that. And then I have that bandit and that bandit. I only have one bullet right now, but we're close to gaining another bullet. And we cover a pickaxe. Okay, I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna move up on there. I am going to use this bullet here and I also gain a gold and it's a large piece and we could start building into eggplant corner. Okay, so let's move on to our next round and grab our dice and we have 12, which we just saw recently. We have five. Ooh, that is a cow and a sheriff and three. Ooh, a very large pasture with a cow. I think we're gonna place this one on. Oh, I was thinking the sheriff, but then it covers that cow. Um, hmm. But we still have the sheriff here. So let's do that because that's still line of sight. Let's go here. It gives us the uh, picks at pickaxe. It'll give us a bullet, which then because of our line of sight here, we can take care of this one here. And we're getting kind of closer to finishing Eggplant corner. Okay, and we can move on to our next phase. We're gonna draw another card for the AI. They have another bandit and they have five cows, but they've already gotten that bonus. So they will not do anything again, but we are now definitely so far, at least of right now, winning the tussle. Let's grab our dice and let's see what we're gonna get. So we have a 19, we have one, which could be interesting. And we have 11. Ooh, the saloon. So I think all the saloon does is it would give us, well, a bandit, but then also a green ace. We already have one green ace. If we can get two more, that would be worth six points at the end. But unless it was something that was gonna fit really well, I don't think I wanna do that. I'd really like to cover this up because then we can get here and here. And then we would get 13 points because we're in this phase, because we'll cover up the whole town. So then since we're in this round, it is worth an extra four points. But it's not maybe the ideal one to draw right now. I'm also trying to think about our um, cow wrangling. <laughs> when we wrangle, we'll get coins or we'll get gold. You know what? Let's go for it. If worse comes to worse, the next time if we roll 19 again, at least we have a larger one that we can grab. I'm going to place this right here. This is not super helpful for the sheriff but we will get that one, which since we have our wheel right, we actually get two tiles. And I'm gonna place one here. And then the one here, cause that's our other one by one spot. And so now that we've completed eggplant corner, we get nine points plus the four bonus. So we have currently seven, so 17. So he's gonna be 20. And that's the end of this round. So we're gonna move into one more round before the tussle. Grab our dice. And let's see what we get. And it is nine, 19. Oh, look at that. We would've gotten it again anyway. And five, ooh, but now we have the town hall. But where I was gonna put the town hall before was here. <laughs> and now that is covered up. I think we're still gonna do it. So I'm gonna pay the two gold to take the town hall. We don't have to pay the extra to skip because there isn't one here. And I'm gonna place it right here, which is gonna give us a uh, pick, pick, pick X. And now if we can get this surrounded, we will get 10 points at the end. So since we got to our next pick X phase, we are gonna pick another partner. So we're gonna look at the top three cards and we have the judge for each sheriff alive in each town. Oh, each town. So like one, two, three, four, five. We can get up to 20 points. The preacher, we can get points for tombstones. Or the rancher, cows in pasture that have at least one cow, cow poke. Well, we're not doing so well on that. So I think we're going to go with the judge or the preacher. I think we're going to go with the judge. So we're going to put this over here with our businesswoman and now we go into the tussle and they have three bandits and we have one so we are going to get three points one two three and a hill bandit i don't really have any ideal places because this one can't reach because that cow is there so can't reach here i'm going to place the hill bandit 
here. Okay, so we can go move on. This is gonna be an income phase. So we're gonna get three gold. And it is also a cactus round. So let's draw their next card. And they are gonna wrangle a bunch. So they definitely have the highest one, which is 12, so they are, or seven. So they are gonna flip that over. So now we only get three points if we can wrangle, but we're not really wrangling. So not super worried about that. But we now don't need to see all of these cows. This is marking that anything over here, that these have all been counted. So anything to the left or the right of the cow poke will be counted for a, another wrangle. All right, and we can see what we roll next. We have 20. Ooh, the bank. We have a two. Ooh, two cows and a bandit. And we have five again. Oh, it loves five. Ooh, sheriff's office. But I'd only want the sheriff's office if I had a lot of bullets stored up, and I don't. And that is because if you place the sheriff's office, not only can you do you get a bullet, but you can also shoot anything anywhere on the board. You know what, though? We could still get this one. We are not working in that direction. Let's see what our other options are first. The bank would give us a lot of gold. Actually, though, if we take the bank, we could place it here. We'll get the gold as soon as it's surrounded, but that will also give us 16 points for, uh, or plus two, so 18 points for finishing Pineapple City. You know what, though? Ooh, okay, it would take two gold. It would take two gold. But say we did the sheriff's office and we placed it here. Oops, moving everything around. Oh my gosh, even more so. We placed, say we placed it here, so it's still touching. Nope, we just still want it to be a little bit down. So maybe down here. Then we can start working in Spearmint Pass and this covers a bullet, so then we have the two bullets that we need to shoot wherever we want. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna pay the two gold. We'll get two bullets, one for the sheriff's office and one for covering that area. Oh man, see, maybe I should have gone with a preacher. Look at that. Oh well, <laughs> too late now. Um, so there's one and two. Gosh, we have not wrangled any cows. <laughs> Like none, but, oh, we did not finish that off yet. Hopefully we can in this round or in this phase so we can get all those points. We still need to share up here, here, and here. Oh, we're running out of time. This goes so fast. Okay, we are gonna move on and we have a 10. Just gonna go down here. Ooh, the hotel. We have a 12. The hotel, I believe, yes, when we have a tussle, we can get two additional points if we win, we have here, oh gosh, ooh, that's a nice big one. I'm actually gonna take this one. I know it's small, if I can get it out, it's a little stuck. I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna place it here and I'm gonna wrangle these cows and that's gonna give me the four and that gives me two alleyways and I get a gold for my barn. So I get four points. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna grab those two tiles. Now I don't get another one because that was just if I collect one. Oh, and here we go. We can now complete Pineapple City for 18 points. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we're at 45. Okay, we can move on. And now we have a cactus around. So let's draw our card. And they have two more cows. They're not gonna do anything because that's not enough. And we have three, I'm just gonna go over here. That's the stables. That'd be an interesting choice. Let's see, one for the blue and 20. Ooh, our bank again. So the stables, if we can make sure that we cover up these five, we would get eight points. These are negative points at the end. So we wanna cover them anyway. Take a look at this one. We placed it here. One, two, three, four, we're at four in that pasture. This one still has line of sight. Not even that many sheriffs left. Oh gosh, I think I should have done the preacher. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. I don't get any bonuses, but we have one more. If we can get two more cows in this pasture, then we can hopefully get the two bullets. But they'd have to go here or here. 
because now that's blocked off. No, I don't think we're gonna do that. We're going to put this back and we are gonna spend one gold to get this stable. And we are going to put it, let's go right, oh man, we could go right here. And then we only have these three to worry about. I feel like we have plenty of time, but maybe we really don't. Here, and then we get the gold, or do we increase our income? Let's put it here and grab a gold. So we cover two, we get our gold back. Okay, final answer, <laughs> final answer. Let's move on to the next round. Grab all of our dice, oh no. I'm just knocking things left and right today, goodness. Okay. And we have one, okay, <laughs> and two, ooh, two cows, and 20. Oh my gosh, it really wants us to take this bank. And we might just take the bank because then we'd only need one more here. Or if we put it here, we'd still need all that. Ooh, oh, now I'm bummed I placed this here because that one would have been so nice to place there. Let's look at this one because we did want to try to get, oh, but then we're probably not gonna be able to get a sheriff down here for sure. And this one can't shoot through there, but we would get the five, and we still only have five. We would need six, and I wouldn't be able to shoot them anyway. Okay, we could try to, oh, nope, that wouldn't work either. All right, I think we're gonna go with our original kind of plan. We're probably still gonna have a bandit at the end, but we're gonna do this. Now we, we're sure we're gonna get the eight because we have all of those covered. I think we didn't, there's nothing else there. And then we only need these four spearmint pass at the end. So now we're gonna go into the tussle and we currently only have one, they have four. So we are going to get four points. One, two, three, four, and a hill bandit. And I think we're gonna place it here because maybe if we can get a sheriff here and somehow get two bullets, we can, and I mean, we would have to wrangle the cows or get this, then maybe we can get those two. I'm, I'm not feeling very optimistic, but we are going to go into an income phase. So with this income phase, we have a choice. We could take our income as usual or only take one and move up this track two spots. I have four gold right now, so I'm just gonna take the one and move up one, two. So at least now we can you know, get two points at the end if we can get, bump this up any further in the next couple turns, there's not many, then we can get five points at the end. And we are going to draw another card that is one bullet. I'm just gonna clear this hill bandit. And yeah, they still only have three. So they will end with four or three bandits to our two. Okay. Let's grab our dice. And we have 14 we're covering we have 17 which we're almost covering and six ooh ooh a sheriff well, I can't place it here <laughs> we could go here they'll give us the cows we need to wrangle all of these but they'll also give us a bandit and then we're tied we also have the option of getting the chapel we need to really consider closing this up too. Ooh, otherwise we don't get the 10 points. The chapel will give us an extra point for all of our gravestones. Is there any benefit? I shouldn't say any benefit. I, that would not fit in this town. I think we're gonna take the chapel. So we are gonna pay one gold and I'm gonna place it here and we'll get some extra end game scoring and so we can move on to our next turn and we have four we're just gonna go down here a oh, hot bandit again we have nine ooh, a cow and 15 we are super running out of time to close off that town hall we need it to go like this and i don't have anything that'll do that or do i okay so i think i'm going to take this one and i am going to place it like this 
yes, that gives us a bandit, but now we're tied. So at least we'd still get the five points. And then because we covered up an alley, we'll get two things to our wheel right. So I'm gonna place one right here. So that way we have now closed off our town hall. And I think I'm gonna place one right here just in case for some miracle that we can close that off at least then it'll be nine points. Okay, and we are moving into our last drafting phase. And we have three just down here. Oop, nope, that's not what we need. We have 19, also not what we need. And two for the green. Oh, oh, ooh, that'll do it. That'll do it. So we can place this. We'll place it like this or, so we couldn't do that anyway. So yes, we're gonna place it like this. That doesn't give us any bonuses there, but it gives us a alley. So we get two. We're gonna cover this one to get nine points. So that brings us up to 40 or 58. It's a bummer I can't place one on, oh, I was looking, but these are all too far away. So we can't bump up there. So this one doesn't actually really matter. So let's just place it here to kind of fill in some areas in town. And now we're gonna to go to our final tussle. They have fought our three. I have one, two, three. So it is a tie, so we'll get five more points. One, two, three, four, five. And there aren't any negative points for um, having more, so I'm not gonna worry about placing another hill bandit. But now we can move into final scoring. Okay, so for final scoring, the first thing we are going to do is subtract points for horseshoes, which we don't have any. We were able to cover them all. And next we are going to score our pink buildings. So we're gonna get eight for covering up all of our horseshoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we also have the chapel, so we'll get one point for each gravestone. We have one, two, three, four, five. And then we are, and I think that, that was it for our pink buildings. We get the 10 points. We probably should have done that at the time. So we get 10 points for our red. So we're up to 86. And now we are going to get two points for each of our tombstones. So that is gonna be another 10, so we're at four, uh, 96. Now we're gonna check for our ace cards. I think we only got a yellow and a green. So we will not get any of those. We will get two points for our progress up our mining track. And now we can check our uh, partners Really wish I had gotten, actually, we still wouldn't have gotten it anyway. We would have needed one more gravestone for the preacher. So we do have more than six, uh, oh, buildings. I so read it wrong. Oh, no. I was thinking big tiles. So we're only getting eight because we have one, two, three. Oh, Bummer. That's okay. It's still eight points. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to flip this over to the 100 side. And a sheriff in each town. We only had two. Yes, Pineapple City and Eggplant Corner. So we won't score anything there. Oh, so silly of me. I was, I was counting our... Um, other tiles, not the building tile titles, uh, tiles, probably would have grabbed some different ones, but mistakes were made. <laughs> and that's it though. That is a score of 106. So now we can look in the book and see how we did. And ooh, a score of 90 plus is a deputy. 110 would have been ranger. Oh, I wish I had gotten one more large building. That's my fault. I read it wrong. But that is Wild Tild West Solo. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye-bye.